I'm a man who is shouting. Is your Ymir build bloody awful because you can't quite hit anyone despite going attack speed? Get a new one. Is your Chernobog build bloody awful because you did it for a meme in a video and... Like seriously, what actually is that item? Like, genuinely, I don't know what that is. Well then I have a one time solution for you my friends. Play the killing machine. Some call her Scardi. They are wrong. She is a killing machine. You see this? Dead. You see that? Dead. You know what that means? Killing machine. How do everybody? I am Troubadork and welcome back to another Smite build. This time we're doing Scardi, so let's get right into it. Uh, we're going to do Hunter's Blessing first. It's a given really, to be honest. Uh, it helps with the early game damage and your lane clear and it's going to build up quite fast. It's a given for any ADC and Scardi is just that. The first essential item we're going to go into is Transcendence. Early game, this is going to give you a nice boost in mana, which is great considering Scardi does rely on her abilities alongside of her auto attacks. It's easy to build due to her ability being such a strong lane clear, that will be her 1. And when Transcendence is fully leveled, it's going to provide a 10% cooldown reduction, as well as converting your mana into physical power. Meaning that when I build this item, I'm going to purchase the first part of it, go on to Ninja Tabai, and then later on, when Ninja Tabai combines with Transcendence, you're going to pack a real punch in the early to mid game. Uh, yeah, that moves us swiftly on to Ninja Tabai. Uh, which is the next item in my build. It provides a movement speed increase of another 18% because Sky doesn't really have a getaway. Uh, the closest thing to that is her 3 uh, where she drops down the ice circle. When she goes on that she's going to get a movement speed increase so Ninja Tenbai combined with that is the best chance of an escape you're going to have. Apart from that it's just going to provide some more attack speed and it's quite a cheap item to buy so yeah of course most builds involve boots so Ninja Tabai is the one I'm going to go for. However if you did prefer Warrior Tabai for a little bit more damage that is also a valid option. Uh, after the boots we're going to go Atalanta's Bow. Atalanta's Bow provides penetration as well as more attack speed and power. It's, excellent in team fight I it's an excellent team fight item sorry, in late conquest matchups or in arena fights due to providing a buff that increases both your attack speed and movement speed when strafing. Strafing means moving back, forth, uh, left and right, but not actually getting penalties for it. When combining that with ASI, you should be outdoing your opponent's ADC and mages, as while they're going to take penalties for trying to dodge your autos, you're going to take still a penalty, but far less so. So hopefully you'll be able to outdo them in the team fights. Next, after At Atalanta's bow, will be the Crusher. The Crusher essentially adds the same base statistics as the bow, which increases your pen, physical power and attack speed, apart from with different percentages. Uh, but that's not obviously a complaint, that's great, it's going to really assist Scardi there. However, the passive ability is where this item truly shines, as it's going to increase her ability damage for an extra 20% physical damage, meaning that Cadla, which is your 2 ability, is more likely to confirm your kills, your ult is going to do more damage, but the key one is your 1 ability. That's going to be doing even more of a punch. It's dog eat dog world and you better get ready to consume. ASI is the next item we're going to do after the Crusher. As I mentioned earlier, during the Heartseeker, not Heartseeker sorry, that's the next to come, uh, ASI after Atalanta, it's perhaps the most devastating item in the build. It's a really strong item in Smite Season 7 overall, to be honest, not just in Scarly, but overall, as it helps to cement this build further. When she drops below 35% health, which is likely due to her lack of escape, she gains an additional 30% lifesteal on top of the 20% this item already provides. What that essentially breaks down into, in a 1v1 battle, as long as you're hitting your auto attacks, you're healing 50% of that damage you're doing when you're below 30% health. Due to the attack speed we built prior, you're going to be healing mad amounts, like insane amounts. So ASI, very very strong item on Scarly. The last item I tend to go for in the main build is Heartseeker. Heartseeker is simply because it's an ability based weapon. So it scales up your ability damage and during the early stages of this build we don't really have a focus too much on her ability damage. We have a little bit due to the Crusher, but it's mostly her auto attack. So I like to build Heartseeker to pack that punch that her one does in the early game. And it also helps her ultimate to do further damage. As obviously that's going to be doing damage with Cadler and her stun. With the one, Heartseeker, great to increase the damage of all of those three abilities. The final option I like to provide myself with is Breastplate of Valor. That's just in case I'm playing solo and I play pick Scardi. Never the best pick, 
but she can work in solo if you wanted to play two carries for the late game fights which would work but then you needed someone to last in solo Scardi can go there with breastplate of valor it's going to provide her with cooldown reduction and obviously if you're fighting a physical opponent it's going to give you a little bit of a buff but what i tend to do is build this as my third item sorry fourth item it would be after ninja tabai but then i sell it in the late game for either Heartseeker ASI, whatever I haven't built at that point, I tend to replace Breastplate of Valor with that because it's not really going to help you too much in the late game fights. Now I'm going to cut to show you what this build can actually do. Uh, I've done the in-depth part, so let's just see me rip some dudes and fully go for it. Hope you guys found this video useful if so be sure to let me know how it goes for you or if you've got any better ideas for future builds any builds you guys want me to cover i know that people want me to tackle balona so that'll probably be the next one i do uh, that's it for me so i just wanted to say thank you all for watching be sure to like and subscribe if you want some more that's all take care everyone